كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب رب الشحل صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Quran Weekly Today with the 8th ayah of Surah Ali Imran I want to share with you some reflections from a very powerful and very beautiful dua of the Quran We turn to Allah and we say Rabbana la tuzikh qulubana I chose this dua especially of all the ayat of Ali Imran I was thinking, I was thinking which ayah should we begin with in this series I chose this ayah because Ramadan is particularly a relevant and good time for this dua Master, do not let our hearts deviate. لا تزغ قلوبنا زغا in Arabic is when something curves slightly and you don't realize it's curved. You know, like a, they, they used to use it for a grave digger who's supposed to dig a rectangle, right? But you know, when you're in the act of digging, you don't really keep track of a straight line. So by the time he gets out, it's like this, this bend in his grave. It's like, a, you know, almost like a C. And the, so because of that problem, this, this was called زيغ in Arabic. Now from it you get the, a person who's going straight and doesn't even realize when they took a wrong turn and they deviated. So this person is za'ir, you know. And for the, so the dua is, رَبَّنَا لَا تُزِغْ قُلُوبَنَا Don't allow our hearts to go deviated. You know, and deviation isn't a 90 degree, like you're going this way, you started going that way. You just forget about it. No, the, the heart when it gets close to Allah, then it doesn't get distant from Allah in a split second. It inches away from Allah little by little by little by little by little. And we're asking Allah to put protective measures in place so that we don't slowly but surely get away from Allah without realizing it. And before you know it, you have no sensation of Iman anymore. You know, some of you are feeling a closeness to Allah in this month that you haven't felt in a long time. And you're praying and you're in the masjid, there are people around you, there's somebody making dua and they're crying and you're, you kind of just catch on that feeling and you turn to Allah and you start crying too. And then you're like, man, I wish I always had this feeling. And when you say to yourself, Ya Allah, I wish I always had this feeling. That's the time to make this dua. Ya Allah, don't let our hearts migrate away, deviate away. Ba'da idh hadaytana, after you've guided us. After you've guided us. You know, interesting, right? Allah didn't say, after you've guided them. Ba'da idh hadaytaha, after you guided the hearts. He said, after you guided us. It is as though we all we are is our heart. So if the heart hasn't deviated, then we ourselves, our entire being is guided. So beautiful. So, رَبَّنَا لَا تُزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَيْتَنَا Then he says, وَهَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً Very powerful language. He says, grant us. Hiba in Arabic is a gift. Wahaba, the verb, is to give a big gift, a, you know, a massive gift. Ya Allah, give us the, the great grant, the generous grant, the gift, that comes especially from your secret vaults. Now, I use this language carefully because the word ladun in Arabic is not just used for something you possess, but something you possess secretly. Something you possess in your private collection that nobody else has seen. When you pull something out of there and give it to someone, هَذَا مِنْ لَدُنِّي If something is in your possession, and you like, there's a pen in my pocket, I just gave it to you. This is هَذَا مِنْ عِنْدِي It's from me. And عِنْدَى is used in the Qur'an too. But when you find لَدُنْ, it's, it's special. It's out of the ordinary. It's from some secret mercy from Allah. In other words, it's as though you're saying, Ya Allah, I have turned, please listen to this carefully by the way. I have turned away from you before, time and time and time again. I got close to you, and then I migrated away. And then I cl close to you, and I migrated away. I've been through this before, this is a cycle for me. And so when you get into a cycle, you start thinking, and I start thinking to myself, it's going to happen again. It's typical. There's it's not, nothing new about this. And that's the time to ask Allah, وَهَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً Ya Allah, there must be some secret weapon of mercy that you have in your arsenal, that you will grant me this time that this cycle will break that I'm actually going to continue to migrate towards you and my heart will not turn away from you, you know. This is an ayah of hope that we don't look at our track record in the past and say, you know what, I'm hopeless. I have, go through these cycles all the time. وَهَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَهَّابِ And not even al-wahib. You no doubt are the giver of gifts who gives a lot and gives repeatedly and over and over and over again. Ya Allah, I don't want this gift one time. For you to pull out that special vault of your love and mercy and your guidance and the straightening out of my heart, I don't want it one time. I know I'll need this again tomorrow. I'll need it again the day after. And I'll need it again the day after. So I call you the one who gives continuous, continuous and repeated gifts. SubhanAllah. 
What a dua to ask Allah. You know, we talk about Ramadan fever coming off afterwards. This is one of those duas. Where that fever won't come off. That you keep turning to Allah and saying, Rabbana, atina min ladunka rahma. Actually, Rabbana, hab lana. Rabbana, la tuzih qulubana. Ba'da idh hadaytana. Wa hab lana min ladunka rahma. Innaka anta al-wahhab. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us all recipient of His most beautiful gift, His loving mercy. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. آمنت بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله واليوم الآخر والقدر خيره والشره من الله والبعث بعد الموت لا إله إلا الله آمنت بالله وملائكته